Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today's session I am going to discuss about Verilog HDL code to realize your D flip flop. So before I start to write the program, first I draw the block diagram of D flip flop. So block diagram of D flip flop. So it's a D flip flop. So in this D flip flop, it has a three input signals. So first input signal is D and second one clock, third input is reset. So it's a sequencer circuit when the clock value is activated, the when clock signal is high. So in this case the D flip flop it produces the output signals. So here I am applying positive H. So positive H clock, then this one is a reset, so clear the D flip flop values. So when reset value equal to 1, just it clear the D flip flop values. Output of the D flip flop is Q on QB represent Q bar. So Q on Q bar, these two signals are considered output signal, these three signals consider input signal of D flip flop. Now I write the truth table so truth table of D flip flop here the input signals are three signals reset clock then data so D in output of the D flip flop is Q on QB so Q bar values so let us consider reset value is 1 clock signal is high so data so this d value is don't care value either 0 or 1 so in this case q value is 0 and q bar value is 1 just a complement of q bar value then second case reset value goes to 0 clock signal is high d value is 1 so in d flip flop operation is when clock signal is enable so in this case d value equal to q so here clock signal is enabled reset value goes to 0 d value equal to 1 so in this case q equal to d so output of the flip flop is 1 q bar value is 0 then third case reset value 0 clock signal goes to high d flip flop so D input is 0, Q value 0 and Q bar value 1. So it's a D flip flop truth table. So using this truth table we can write the very of HDL program. So now I move on the program. So as usual first you write module then to declare the module name so here module name is d flip flop let me take d flip flop is a module name then within a bracket we can denote the input variables and output variables here input variables are d clock and reset so d clock and reset output variables are q and qb Q on QB. So in this case, first you write module, then module name within a bracket. You can mention input variables as well as output variables. The next step declaration of input variables. Here, these three variables consider input variables D, clock, reset. So these three variables consider input variables output variable q on qb so these two variable consider as a output variables q on qb then you represent this q on qb in a register so q on qb so far we declare the input variables and output variables on registers now we start the function 
always at so in this d flip flop activate in a positive edge trigger so here i am using positive edge clock then we sort the function here the function is if first case if reset so first reset value is high so in this case what will happen in d flip flop begin the process so here the process is output of q value is 0 q by value is 1 so q equal to 1 tick b 0 so this b represent big value so binary values then q b so q b is not of q so this symbol represent not operation not operation or complement end the process so first case is over then we go to the second case yes begin the process here the output is q value 1 q bar value complement of q so q equal to d so whatever value you apply in the d so d value is equal to q value the next one q b so q b is complement of q so complement of q so one after complementation you can get zero then end end process so final one in module So this is the way to write D flip flop program. So first you draw the block diagram. So after drawing block diagram, you can mention the input variables. So D clock and reset. Then mention output variables Q and QB. So after drawing the block diagram, you can write the truth table for corresponding D flip flop. Then you declare the module module name and what are the variables used for input variables and output variables. Then declaration of input and output. Then always at so positive edge clock. Suppose uh, positive edge clock means you represent here positive edge or positive reset values. Then begin the process if reset value. So reset is enabled. What will happen in a D flip flop? Then clock is enabled else. So reset value goes to zero. Then this condition what will happen in a D flip flop? So that you will write in the code. So Thanks for watching my channel. If you are seeing first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make lot of videos. Thanks for watching my channel. Thank you.